and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Kirsten and today we are going to be doing some color on my client and this is what she came in with. This is something she had done previously. It had been a few months and she is wanting to go back to her darker natural color and today we are going to be doing a reverse balayage. So we started out with a good haircut because some of her ends on the side had been fried off by color. And so yeah, I just cut off a couple inches and then I layered it up and I'm gonna let you watch on how I do that. So we're going to mix the color up and I show you here, we're doing 504 in. I do use Matrix Soap Color and I absolutely love it. It's a cream color and I also use a cream developer with it and it seems to mix perfect for my liking. I know some people like gels or liquids, but I really, really enjoy the creams. The next color I'm gonna use is a little bit of Four Ash. And the reason I'm doing that is to counteract the red tone that is in the gray coverage, which is that Matrix So Color, the 504. It has a lot more red pigment in it, and our client doesn't really want that red look. She wants more of the ashy tone. So I went ahead and put some Four Ash in there to help with that. All right, and then we are gonna use Tin Volume Developer, and the reason being is we only wanna deposit, we do not want to lift. So normally with gray coverage, you would be using 20 volume, but that is not our case here. She is a younger client and she does not have grays. So we're gonna mix this together really good with this awesome whisk that I am using. It is also by Matrix and I absolutely love it. If you don't have one, you should get you one. So there's a good look at what that whisk looks like. Note to self, a whisk is always a better option than a brush to mix with. That right there was a turnkey, and I like to use that as well to get my product good out of the tube. And this is the brush I like to use. It's by Fermar. It tapers down towards the end and applies color perfect. So as you can see, I decided to put on a backwards bib. They are my absolute favorite. It helps keep the color off of the cape and it, I'm telling you, it's the best. So this is a very, very fast movement here, but what we are going to do is we are coloring the entire client's hair. So I went around the perimeter on the front to get my good sections. I am pretty much going to do a reverse balayage. So as you can see, we're touching the roots first and then on the pieces that we want to leave out, we're going to weave some out, pull it back, and in a second we will put that in a foil. This seems to be the easiest way for me to do it, especially when the client already comes in and they're blonde. And I just left her blonde pieces out. I didn't want to tone them as I was putting on the color because I didn't want it to sit too long. But yeah, this is a good way to achieve a reverse balayage when the client comes in blonde because honestly, we didn't really need to use any more bleach. Her hair was already in some damage. So we just used with, we just dealt with what we had and went from there. So I hope this makes a lot of sense. So we're just pulling some down, coloring the whole strand. Then we'll pull another section down and 
that is weaved out and then we're just touching the root and then leaving the blonde out so we can tone it later. So we're gonna do the same exact thing on this side, go around the perimeter, putting the color on, and then we're gonna go through and we're gonna leave about a two inch section from the bottom, all a solid color. And then we're going to start taking slices down, weaving out, putting some of that weave in a foil and leaving it blonde, but touching the root to get that color all to match. And so we do the same thing pretty much on the entire head. All right, so we're on the back, as you can tell, all the way up to about an inch and a half past the top of her ear was already dark. So instead of lightening that all back up, since she's wanting to be more dark than light, I just went ahead and colored that whole half of that quadrant. And then I went back in with the same exact pattern that I was doing on the sides. I would pull a slice down, weave it out, color that entire piece, and then put the other piece in a foil. So as you can tell, I go back and color that one right there. And then I do it on the other side as well, the exact same. This is what it looks like with all of the foil placement together. And now it's time to remove them. Well, this is a little trick that I like to tell people. I like to use really warm water and I get all around the perimeter of the hairline wet. And then I like to emulsify that color down and use it as a pre-toner, if not a toner for those blonde pieces that are left out. And typically it works perfectly. All right, so we're gonna use this Kenra blow dry spray to blow dry our client's hair. It is a heat protectant, and I am telling you, when I don't use it, I can tell a major, major difference. Okay, so this next product we're gonna use is the Biolage uh, Styling Spray, and I just spray it on the hair, and then I use the hot tool of my choice. Today we're gonna be using a Bio Ionic 
one and a half inch curler and it is my favorite. I use it on all of my clients to curl hair. Unless if they have shorter hair, then I will use a straightener. But this is my way of curling hair, as you can tell. So hopefully that helps people out that have issues with that as well. All right, it's all curled. So now we're gonna spray in some Matrix Vavoom hairspray. I like to do that as the hair is cooling off and then I go in with a wet brush and I just brush out those curls to get that beautiful beachy wave look. And this is the final product, guys. It turned out fabulous. Can't you just see that rich chocolate brown color mixed in with that really pretty, pretty ashy blonde. It turned out perfect and the client left extremely happy. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more, please stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Thank you guys for hanging out and watching with me. Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.